Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 55 of Darwell20's All the Mods 8 Let's Play series where I'm running around collecting some air uh, receptacles. I've got five of them so far and this is going to be my sixth. Ho ho! Uh, plan, I, I looked, I don't think there's anything else that can passively tick accelerate like uh, we had set up here. So what I'm going to do, uh, or at least what I've decided to do... I'm probably going to move this guy and, and relocate him to the sub-basement. And then we'll have an area designated for tick accelerating. And we'll have um, like three or four tick accelerators in here. Probably a few more. And I, I want to make a couple more. I made two so far overload shrines. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I will, you know, place machines there that I want to tick accelerate. So for now, it'll be nether stars, but in the future... I might remove the nether star producers and put something else there and get them tick accelerated. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, so what do I got going on so far? I've got I've got these guys. You know what? Actually, let's go back home because I probably should plan this out. Let's do this. Let's put in here. We'll we'll set up initially. I'm gonna set up my this guy right. That should be cool. So in here, I'm going to have my my air essence farm, right? So right now, I've got six, and then I've got eight. I should probably do one more, and then I'll have an even three by three. Oh, it just feels like a good number to me, right? But we could have that. Um, yeah, that should be cool, right? So you go on there. Elemental craft, we're going to want, like, just get, like, ten-ish containers. Does that sound cool? Should be crafting all the things for that. And then we can put our receptacles down and then we can get them going. Uh, so that means I'm also going to want maybe three more of these. Does that sound cool? Oh, we're missing inert crystals? Really? Are we though? Are we missing inert crystals? All right, let's go find some of that stuff. Shouldn't be too bad to find. Um, I left my miner somewhere. There he is. I knew he was in this general area. So inert crystals are what? Forge ores what? F3H for advanced tool tips? I don't know. I didn't want to do that. This music's so loud all of a sudden in this pack. I think it was that creeper. I think it was that creeper. Okay, so forge ores. Inert underscore crystal. There we go. Start her up, would you? Hey, 778, we can manage that, okay. And then you go back home. Actually, go back. Is this chunk loaded this area? Yes. Okay, cool. Three seconds. Come on, I'm impatient. Oh my goodness, why are you not why are you not deploying? You should be deploying and you're not. Yeah, super questioning why that's not deploying right now. Factory block placer. Shouldn't you be placing blocks? Shouldn't you be placing blocks? Inverted, not inverted, ignored. You're being weird, Mr. Factory Block Placer. Oh, well that was super cool. Did you see what happened there? Excuse me. Where did where did my where did my where did my Oh, did you get vacuumed up? That might have been what happened. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that you didn't just void all those items. 
and that you, in fact, got vacuumed up by my basic item collector. Ow! Stop trying to mine me every tick. Are you facing the opposite way that I clicked you? You probably are. Oh, hey. Yeah, hey, look who's working again. That is exceedingly funny to me. For whatever reason, he doesn't want to place inside just that block space. Like, he's he's very... What? Okay, you are just going to misbehave for a sec. Uh, let's get another kind of block placer then. Uh, like this one? Was there a reason we didn't use this? I mean, aside from him needing power and him potentially being slow. No, he was facing the right way. Are you also having a problem? Oh, you're a fluid placer. Well, that's part of the problem. Thought I grabbed the block placer. Yeah, originally I had the block placer there. Why aren't you placing? Oh, now you are. He's still not particularly quick. Not bad. That could do. I could do with that. I don't know why the other one stopped work. That's been running for many an episode at this point. That has been running for many an episode at this point. So I don't know why that stopped working all of a sudden. I do like to get in here every now and then and mess with the exporter, so we'll leave that. Uh, yeah, so what was up with that? I have no idea. Now, what was I doing? Uh, I was trying to get better extractors, yes. Uh, we're missing five. We have available 39. How about just four? We gotta wait for that to catch up now. Okay, back on task. Every now and then things just go weird and break and you have to figure out why they broke. Such as, such as modded Minecraft, right? All right, you go home, let's pop over to here. So we're gonna build a tick accelerating room today. That's the plan. Well, kind of-ish. Not necessarily a room per se, but a tick accelerating setup. So I'm gonna start with, I've got one overload shrine already in the area, right? Uh, maybe two more overload shrines would be cool. So if I, if I do this and control click, it's gonna craft everything I need, right? And that'll be neat. So everything is a work in progress right now. It's also making um, a healthy amount of pures for the extractors that I requested. So let's see, you're you're in progress. Yeah, a lot of other things are also being crafted here for for the extractors that I asked for, right? So those need some swift alloys and need some pure crystals. So let me let everything craft. We'll come back, I'll start building, and then we'll be ready to go. Also, I think I want probably one more air source receptacle. So I'm gonna get one more diamond and air and you, and we'll be right back. All right, so I think I've got most of what I need here. Let's see. Uh, so let's let's make this look, quote unquote, look nice. You know, it's, it's dire, it's, as nice as dire can make it look. Okay, so we're gonna have a three by three of these with a three by three of these. Oh, 
close enough. And uh, we're going to wind up moving these two. Okay. So I probably want one more air shard guy. Oh, two more air shard guys, actually. So we're going to want you, we're going to want you, and we're going to want diamonds. Hopefully this will get me a, uh, if I'm lucky, it'll get me a big one. I think with that many um, powerful air shards, you have a pretty good chance of getting the pure. Hooray! Okay, so those two will go towards getting that. And now our overload shrine, we should be good to go with this, right? Maybe. Yep, there we go. So then the trick is we 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 act like we're gonna craft it like that, right? But we're not gonna craft it like that. What we're gonna do is just place everything in the same order here. Now, technically I could set up auto crafting on this, but I don't think I need to right now. Um, if it turns out that I'm gonna wanna have more than a couple of these, then I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, this is this is this is fine. And then I can request another overload shrine and it will auto craft all the things it needs for that, right? And everything starts cooking. Cool. See how that's all working? Boom. Nice, right? How cool is that? And then you're almost done with your overload shrine. So then in total, we'll have five of them. Now, I might need to look into the acceleration guys, but we'll figure that out in a minute. So once this is done, I'm going to look at... There's also strength, which I'm not sure if I ever tested, but I'm curious if strength shrine upgrades. So between that and acceleration shrine upgrades, we might want, you know, some stuffs. They also need pure crystals. Boy, oh boy, do you all need pure crystals? Goodness gracious, those are expensive. Does no one realize how expensive those are? Okay, so that's good. So I want to test strength upgrades because I'm curious if they make a difference. It says it makes the effect of the shrine more powerful. So does that mean it's going to tick accelerate more? I don't know. We'll find out. I'll come back in a minute once I'm ready to test that out. All right, I'm waiting for some elements to recharge, but I think we're ready to at least start with this pattern and see what it's going to look like. So effectively, I'm going to put you here with a stabilizer on you, right? And then here with a stabilizer and here with a stabilizer. And remember, when you first place them, they need to recharge themselves. So it'll take a minute, but we'll get there, okay? Um, here with a stabilizer. Here with a stabilizer. Do I have enough for another uh, stabilizer yet? No, not quite. Uh, I'm waiting on... Oh, we actually have some more springling shards, so that's cool. Does that have to be burnt glass? I guess so. So that should be cooking up now, burn glass, cool. And then you can be used for this. Now we still, we're waiting on the elements in the, in the room there to charge up because I did request also a bunch of pure crystals, um, which really definitely did a lot of a number on things. But do I have enough for another stabilizer? Eh, not quite. Eh, yeah, we're still waiting on spring lane shards. Pretty sure. I'll just request a bunch more. They're not cheap, but they're fine. All right, so now that those are, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the rest of these placed though. So let's get you placed, you placed, and then I'm gonna go get using this guy. We're gonna snag you. Now, can I get 
this thing off here, you think? Is there a way to get that off? I have no idea. All right, so that should absorb that. We'll see if this thing pops off when we break it. And then I want you, and presumably that'll vacuum up all my acceleration shrine upgrades. So we're gonna test if the strength shine works uh, upgrade, and then we'll we'll test some other things. All right, so that's good and done. So then you combine with you. So what happens to the stabilizer when I do this? Hmm, we're gonna find out like right now. I think I got it back. Yay. Okay, so then that means you can be stabilized and now we know we need three more stabilizers, not a big deal. Um, oops, you and you now. So how's that feel? Is that like a nice air? generation type room thing. I mean, I like the sound of it. It all looks good to me in theory. Uh, and now we want to wait for these things to all come together. So let me wait for crafting. Uh, how am I for sprinkling shards? Still waiting for it. So if you look over here in our room, uh, all of these are probably dead. Well, oh, no, air, water came back to life. So that's cool. Water was the first one to die. So the fact that it's back to life now makes good sense. And we can totally tick accelerate the extractors, by the way. That 100% works. And that should have you coming back to life. If only, also you, I guess. So yeah, back in a few once we've got, you know, all the crafting done here. We're waiting for these things to come back. They're all, they're all kind of dead. A little tick accelerating would be good. I should probably stabilize these four as well. I'll look to do that once I've stabilized the other guys. Cool. All right, got three more stabilizers. So that's all done now. And you may or may not be good, but let's have, what if we got one of those, because there is like a top tier uh, air guy. I think it's probably this one, air element reservoir. That'll hold a lot of air elements. So we just need an air crystal, which we should have no problem doing. Can I back this? I can. Nice. So a bunch of you an air crystal and a diamond ought to be cool. You want a few of these in case it doesn't go well. Are you out? Yeah, you're out, that's why. Come on, let's go, buddy. Can I make another stabilizer by chance? Close to more than one, but definitely one. I think that helps it recharge faster. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, that's what prevents them from being replaced with locks. It also slightly increases the source recovery rate. All right, slightly, rec it's fine. I'm bummed I can't add this. So I have to wait for this thing to charge up before I can do that. So uh, actually we're close. You should be getting somewhere now. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for this guy. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're cooking now. Are you trying to craft more of these? No, you're not. Okay. Uh, let's get like 30 more of those, some more burnt glass. And how am I for swifting? Gets, I could probably use at least a few more of them as well. How'd you make out? Lucky? Yeah, lucky. That's what's up. All right. Uh, now, what was I going to make with you again? The big guy. That's right. Yeah. The air element reservoir. So... I wanted this. So I've got an air element container, right? 
And then I wanted Springling Glass, Pure Crystal, and Pristine Gem. Springling Glass, Pure Crystal, and Pristine Gem. So if I do this over an air guy, and you can also tick accelerate these, remember. That should get me like a really big reservoir that's dedicated to air element. So that'll be cool, okay? Uh, and then also because I want you crafting again, I'm putting these diamonds back in here. I paused the crafting by removing the diamonds from this block. Smart dyers, smart. Okay. So then how about this guy chills here? Is that cool? And it looks like you guys are starting to fill up your reservoirs, which is nice. All right, good deal. Now from Elemental Craft, we're going to want improved element pipes, right? So let's get a good number of them. I don't think they're that expensive, right? They're, they're, they're not, they're not. Improved element pipes. Yeah, there's 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 impaired, regular, and then improved. And improved is what we want. Now, how does this guy work in terms of the input and output? Is it the same side? Let me read about this real quick. So I'm guessing I can input on the side and then maybe output out the front or I could input out like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do an input on the bottom and then maybe output out the front. Does that sound fair? Yeah, that should work, right? Yeah, I think you can, you can interact with any side with these. So I think that should be fine. And then we'll have, is that how I want it? Or do I want this back one? Maybe I want this. I kind of like it there. Kind of like it there. We could move it when we're done. It, you know, not a big deal. And then right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. Nope, not that. You, you, you. And that should start filling that up. It's looking like it, right? Definitely looking like it's filling up. I can see a little bit. And I remember these holding like a real lot of elements. It should be cool. All right, neato. So yeah, this is draining for sure, right? Yeah, and then this is filling up. That's cool. So we're gonna have like a massive amount of air element available to us. Now, uh, let's get our shrine. So it faces the opposite direction. So I'm gonna to want a shrine. What shrine are you? Overload shrine, overload shrine, yes. You know what? Maybe it's uh, because it doesn't have a block there to tick accelerate yet. So let me get a simulation chamber. I'm going to get two of them, actually. One to test with strength and one to test without strength. How does that sound? Cool. Part of me wants these chambers to... Well, yeah, well, I'll play with it. So you and then... That's cool. Okay. So now you're getting this. Let's just snag a data model to test with, and you as well. Okay, so you're gonna go here. Oh, and then you need power, right? Uh, Right? So that's the rate at which you're running without... That's... Is that even running? Is that tick accelerating or no?
Can you guys tell a difference? Because I kind of can't. If I attach these guys, that's definitely faster. That's definitely faster now. Yeah, I can hardly tell the difference without the acceler without the acceleration on the sides, right? Now, what if I throw a shrine of a strength guy on him? Actually, he doesn't look like he wants to accept it. So maybe that's. Is that one, does it tell me what can accept it on these? Doesn't really say? How about these? Does it tell me? Fine. Yeah, it doesn't tell me which upgrades it accepts. And on the, on these guys, can be placed on any side, including top and bottom. Doesn't look like over, over, Overload Shrine accepts it. So what we're probably going to want is accelerations, right? We're going to want uh, one, two, three, four accelerations. You know what's funny is he can't... Yeah, why does the bottom not have a thing to it? Right? The bottom doesn't have like a little... Now if I remove you, just, just, just for the sake of argument. Isn't that funny? Quick question, acceleration upgrades? I'm trying to make this as efficient as possible. And placed on any side, including the top and bottom. Funny, right? Um, now here's my next question. Right, what if I did this and then we piped We say no to this, and then that goes in. And we said no to this, and we did that, right? And we can put that deeper in. We can put that deeper in for sure. Okay. Um, deeper underground so that looks nicer. Will that work? So what I'd want to have is the accelerations on all four sides. Okay. And then you get your wither data model, you get this dude. And then you need power. That's working, right? So that's how we play it. That's, I think, what we do, okay? And then we would want another shrine here, here, and here. And possibly here. No, no. Right? One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, and then we can run the air underneath everything, and then whatever we place on the top of the shrine is what get tick, get stick accelerated. Right, so we're gonna want, how am I for pures at the moment? Yeah, we're getting there. I was making a bunch of those in anticipation of needing a lot, and I mean a lot, of accelerations, right? So first off, how am I for stabilizers? I thought I made a bunch of swift alloys. Are we waiting for things against it? Yeah, see, well, there's a lot of things. Oh, yeah, I used a bunch of Swift alloys. When I, okay, yeah, now we're waiting um, for the machines to finish. So is this my problem right now? Probably. Yeah, everything's burned out again. 
So I wouldn't mind stabilizing these guys, but we obviously need more elements in this room to, to catch up with everything else I want to do. So here's what I'm going to do. Between episodes, I'm going to basically wait for all these things to regenerate themselves so that we can get everything we need. Uh, then once I have that ready, uh, I can uh, make all the acceleration rune up things for this, and then we will be able to have multiple overload shrines ready to go. Um, that sound cool to everybody? And then hopefully uh, we have a net gain of air coming in here. With all these air dudes, I got to imagine we will. I'll probably wind up having like maybe two or three-ish of these uh, running at any given time. And that would be cool. I think that should be fine. Um, you know, with a, we'll, we'll, we'll set up like, you know, the what I'll probably do is do laser I.O. on the top here and feed both power and items in and out. So basically that, but power as well. And then we'll be good to go. Cool. And then we'll basically say anything that sits on top of these shrines gets tick accelerated. Like that's pretty good right there, right? That's not bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Too bad strength can't go in there. We want to try one more time for strength? Nope, no strength. Acceleration only. Uh, I just want to check one more uh, shrine upgrades. What other upgrade options are there? Because I want to see if I can avoid, uh, let's see, optimization shrine upgrade. Speed and capacity shrine, but it can only use two. So acceleration is 50%, minus 50% period. Um, range. Optimization is 20% period and 25% less element consumption and 25% more element capacity. So optimization, probably not what I want. I probably want all accelerations. If we want it to be as fast as possible, all accelerations is where we're going to want to be, right? Uh, and hopefully a single element pipe will be able to supply all five of these overload shrines. If not, what I'll do is I'll, you know, extract from multiple sides of this dude. Cool. For now, though, I think it's wrapping up point. So Dowel 20 signed off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and have, uh, what, 16 more acceleration shrine upgrades? Does that sound, does that sound cool? Um, I'll just be making more of those. So let's see, you go away, you go away, and you're ready to roll. Cool. All right. For now, Dowel 20 signing off. Take it easy.